I want to assert or have you all consider that you actually don't live in your life the way you think you do. We live actually in the conversation we have about our life. We live in the conversation we have about our relationship. We live in the conversation we have about our job, the conversation we have about our community, the conversation we have about the world. And um, although we're all here, probably all 450 or 500 of us almost now, to, um, to make the world a better place, yes, that's definitely the, the job. But, and, but we don't have total power uh, to change the world the way we would like to, or to change your relationship, or to change your community the way we would like to. But we have absolute omnipotence over the conversation we have about our lives, over the conversation we have about the world. And our actions are derived from the way the world shows up for us, the way it occurs for us. And the way it occurs for us is often um, rooted in the conversation we're living inside of. A conversation for fear actually reverberates physically in your body and has you take actions that are uh, consistent with that experience of fear and that conversation. And sometimes it's totally appropriate to be fearful. I'm not saying that we won't have fear. But at a certain point, to actually get senior to fear, get senior to a situation, get senior to a set of circumstances, one of the most powerful levers and dials that we can apply is to really look at what is the conversation we're living in. The conversation around cancer, as Cheryl so eloquently and beautifully shared in her own personal experience, uh, has been one of fear and uh, a death sentence and so much anxiety and um, uh, a kind of a shutting down that everything that Zach just talked about, about what actually uh, really makes human life flourish, which is connection and community and love, people uh, often retract from all of that in fear and isolation, which is consistent with the cancer in their bodies. We at the Cancer Story Project know that shifting the conversation around cancer is not only possible, but it is a mandate for our time. And we can regenerate, rethink, recreate, reset, redesign, reimagine our relationship with health and well being, and in particular with this project, our story around cancer.